What's up everyone, my name is Alex Costa and if this is the first time this year that you're watching one of my videos then Happy New Year! 2019 is here, I am hyped and you should be too because today we are going over the biggest style trends of the year. 2018 was insane, alright? There were so many dope trends and styles introduced into the game and so many not so dope ones. Either way, we're gonna make sure that you're all informed about what trends are gonna be huge this year and what will most likely die down. Jumping into our first trend, and we're already seeing this everywhere, cross body bags. I'm giving you guys 2019's biggest trends and not my own because I don't personally own one of those crossbody bags, but man, I can't open my Instagram without seeing someone wearing one of those. I mean, honestly, just scroll down your feed. Every dude out there who's into fashion seems to have at least one crossbody bag. And you know what? They're pulling it off somehow. There are lots of different styles because every brand seems to be making them now. If you carry a laptop every single day or your gym equipment or something that's bigger, right, then this bag isn't for you. You, but if you only need to put small things away, I guess it could be a little bit practical, though I don't know, I have a feeling that they're more of a fashion statement than anything else. The cool thing about crossbody bags is that it builds on an outfit to get that additional detail in there, to go the extra mile. The other cool thing for your girlfriend is that she won't have to put any of your stuff in her purse when you're going out, so she's gonna be happy. Which brings us to style trend number two pockets. So you got your crossbody bag and you still don't have room for stuff. Now what do you do? You stuff it in more pockets. Large, very visible pockets are in right now. You see them all over fashion shows and runways. Trendy brands have them. Even cargo pants are making a comeback and I never really thought that would happen. Or you can finally rock that denim jacket with the extra pockets that you thought was way out of style. Let's be serious here though, kind of like the crossbody bags. These pockets are not for functionality. They are there to just add a fashionable touch to your outfit. So I wouldn't really put anything, I wouldn't really stuff those pockets with a bunch of crap, all right? Number three, layering properly. The average guy typically wears one visible layer on top, right? Just a shirt. Sometimes two layers if it's cold, the jacket being the second layer. And for you guys who are just learning about this now, layering is nothing more than stacking your pieces together to add different dimensions to your fit. Some jackets like this one here from All Saints even come with a built-in layer. You can see that it looks like two pieces, but in reality, it's just one. By layering properly, you're gonna have a lot more outfit choices, which is great for us. So the next time you go to your closet and you're looking around, try to layer some of your clothes together to see what goes well. A lot of guys are almost over layering. I don't know, is that is that even a word, over layering? But you know what? They're making it look really cool. I'm not sure if it's for everyone, but you won't know until you try it. The only thing that I would say is don't go too crazy with bright colors. Don't do a lot of colors on top of one another because you don't want to overdo that. And of course, don't wear anything that's gonna make you feel trapped inside your own clothes. You know, make sure that you're comfortable and that you have full mobility. And guys, if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, make sure to check out my latest pictures. I'm going to Switzerland in a few days, then Thailand for a fitness retreat. You know, trust me, you're not gonna wanna miss this. Like, I can't wait. My Instagram is at Alex Costa, and I post a lot of fashion hair me. I just got this curly hairstyle today for the first time and I'm like trying to trying to vibe with it but it's a little weird right now. I know, I know. But check me out. My Instagram is at Alex Costa. I'm gonna leave it listed in the description below. And now let's jump into trend number four, patterns. Literally every kind of pattern. It's all trending now. Sometimes they're bright and bold or they can be a little bit more subtle. They can be seen in suits and runways, in shirts, coats, everywhere. It's not something easy to pull off, but if you can do it, you're gonna be a very stylish dude everywhere you go. Another trend for men in 2019, branded long socks. Kinda crazy, but research actually shows that more socks were sold in 2018 than any other year. Now, people are not growing extra feet, all right? You got two. People are just trying out new sock styles. As you know, dad sneakers are in right now and guys are pairing them up with cool different socks to make them even more of a statement as if needed when you got dad shoes on, right? A few years ago, you would only see these at the gym, but the point of them now is definitely not to be just athletic, it's more about fashion. And since we're speaking about sneakers, let's get into it. Sneakers in general are trending, like every single day, I meet more and more sneakerheads and high-end brands like Balenciaga, like Louis Vuitton are noticing. So in 2018, they launched a lot of new sneakers to make sure the customers were satisfied because they always want more, all right? And the crazy thing is that it wasn't enough. So in 2019, these brands are gonna bring the big guns, all right? I guarantee every single high fashion brand out there is gonna launch their version of trendy sneakers if they haven't yet. 
And what are the trends? Well, the bulky dad sneakers will for sure continue to be everywhere. It's gonna be a big trend in 2019. Sock sneakers, 100%, especially with so many different types and styles and combos that they're putting together now. And of course, the typical street style trainer mix as seen in Off-White and you know a bunch of Nike collabs, etc. The one bad thing about this trend, in my opinion, is that it keeps bringing the price of cool sneakers up higher and higher. I see so many people wearing thousand dollar sneakers out here in the streets in LA. It's crazy, so you better start saving up. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm making an effort to post better and better pictures there for you guys every single day. And with these trips coming up, like I'm so pumped because trust me, these pictures are gonna be awesome. My Instagram is at Alex Casa, and I always run uh, giveaways there as well. Plus, I have a newsletter where I send out free weekly emails with personal stories, with uh, some advice, and much more. It's free, it's listed in the description. If you wanna sign up, hit it. And then thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's the new year. <laughs> All right, peace.